Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I'll be teaching you how to remove lag from your Scratch projects. So if your project is lagging, there's a good chance that one of these tips will um, remove the lag. So the first and most easy thing you can do is just have a new sprite, name it blank, or anything else, put it as your first sprite, and then boom. So this reduces his lag because when Scratch is running, it, it might have to show some blocks which can cause lag, but if it doesn't have to show any blocks because this sprite doesn't have any, then they can save on lag, or they can reduce lag. You can also add a comment saying something like, this is here to reduce lag. Just in case someone remakes your project and they think that this sprite is useless. Alright, time for tip number two. Tip number two is understanding line blocks. So they can be pretty tricky to understand. But let's say in this case, right? You're running this and it's like, ah, oh, so much lag. Like, Scratch is literally lagging because of this one script. So, why is that happening? Well, this is because you're using a mod block that is running without screen refresh, but then you're using a waiting block. So it's like running really, really fast, but it has to wait for something. So that's causing lag. What you want to do is just either change this so it's not running, so it's running with screen refresh, so uncheck this box, and then now it runs well again. Or you can make this um, running without screen refresh and just put this block underneath that or something else, somewhere else, and then boom, it works again. So that is a cause for lots of lots of lag. So right, time for tip number three. So tip number three is again something to do with my blocks, and it still has something to do with like these types of blocks. So it's like movement blocks or something else. They can cause, well, they can just slow things down just a bit. So um, it's important to understand how they work. So let's say we do this, and then. As you can see here, it doesn't add things too quickly. Why is that? Because Scratch has a built-in thing where it's like if you're rotating or moving or something else, it slows it down. So if you move this way faster, or another technique here is you can just make it run without screen refresh. And then you have, well, craziness, but it works really, really well. So it makes everything in this thing happen in one frame, but that is important. Also, if you're doing this, I would recommend putting this weep 0.01 seconds, or even less if you want. It doesn't really matter. And then it still works. What this does is it just makes sure that it's not running too quickly and causing lag again. So, that is tip number three. So, for tip number four, it's kind of about efficient coding and understanding how code works so let's say you run this right it it's uh, let's say we have um, I don't know a set zero block and then this runs pretty slowly so why is that because this isn't efficient code and even if this even if you don't have this and you say oh it runs really fast well you can see for a split frame it's not quite 50 you can see that so let's say we want to make this um, instead of 50 want to make this very large number and then there's like a split frame where it's not quite that number yet and let's say you make this even even bigger and then now you can really see the lag here right it's not really lag but it's just not really fast so it takes forever to get out that number instead of doing that you can literally just set this you can set this variable just to straight up that value and I know that this is a really simple example see how this, that's the one frame this is a really simple example, but it's really, really common to have inefficient code. So your code probably won't be looking like this, but maybe you're doing something and then you're not really checking for efficiency and then your product isn't performing as well as you want it to be. This is a huge cause of lag and just inefficiencies. So be sure to look at your code for places where the code just isn't looking. Like it looks like there's too much code where 
it's too inefficient for what it really needs to do. So you can boil it down to what needs to happen and see if you can recode it to make it simpler. So that's tip number four. And the last thing I have for you today is not really anything, it's not really coding, but all you have to do is shift, click the green flag. So holding shift, holding down shift, we're pressing the green flag, that activates turbo mode. So turbo mode, what that does is it just makes your project run really, really fast artificially. So if you run a project like this, let's say, um, let's say we're spinning, it rotates it like way faster than normal. That's without turbo mode. This is turbo mode. So turbo mode makes projects run really, really fast. So if you're having lag issues, I'd recommend doing that first. But then, um, you know how it was rotating really, really fast turbo mode. So Ideally, you can just put, let's say you don't want it to rotate that fast, let's say you want some parts of the code to be fast, but not others. If that's the case, then you can put this block, so now it rotates at a somewhat normal speed again. So, again, without the block, with the block. So now it rotates a lot more normally, but let's say you have another piece of code, then that can get spit up. Alright, so that's all I have for you today. If you watch all the way to the end, then you're probably enjoying this video, so I'd recommend leaving a sub because we can get more tutorials like these, and um, at the time of recording, I only have like 10 subscribers, so it would really help out if you subscribe, like this video, and maybe share it with some people. So yeah, that's this tutorial, and I uh, hope you're having a great day, and uh, have a great rest of your day, and uh, see you next time.